Greetings, everybody. This is Winnie Riggle, and welcome back to Eden Tech. I am standing on top of our ore miner. Yeah, with its solar panels. Because we need to have a little conversation about gathering resources in modded. So, our wonderful ore miner, void ore miner from environmental tech is very good. I have done a little AFKing overnight for a couple of nights and it's done a fair job getting resources. I have periodically emptied the chest of the regular ores like iron and tin and processed them. I will probably dump all of the bio the plenty ores and I have pulled all the silent gem stuff out and have that processing over in the sag mill. It's also getting the erodium crystal, which is really the only reason we set this up. We cannot get to the next tier of environmental tech without that erodium crystal, but we need resources faster than this thing is producing. And so looking at the mod pack, uh, we have a couple options for that. And I have chosen to go the mystical agriculture route. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to grow our ores. Also, spoiler alert, yes, that is a new building in the background. We're going to talk about that and finish it next episode. This is going to be our power production building. Uh, next episode, we'll get into extreme reactors Woo! because we do need more power. In the meantime, I want to show you a couple of things in the workshop that we've done uh, while I was off camera. One thing I did mention, I've been processing the silenced gems materials using the sag mill. Also added dark steel grinding balls that increases the chance of output when you're processing things. Uh, I've been doing a little more deco craft. There's a cool old stove that adds some ambiance. I created an experience obelisk from Ender IO to collect all of our experience. The cyclic one looked very cool, but we filled it up. That's right, filled it up. So I needed something that had more capacity for experience and as far as I understand, the Ender IO one is basically infinite. I did a little playing around with some Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod. That's the flashy blinky lights up here. And I played with the fairy lights mod. Check these out. Look at them. They're on a string between poles. They attach to the top of these immersive engineering posts and the string like can expand to fill the distance. I don't know what the maximum distance is, but aren't they cool? And their recipe isn't horrible. I think what I used was the red paper lantern. It was just red dye with iron and some paper. And then you take that and turn it into hanging lights using some glowstone iron and string. So I just thought that they added some nice ambiance to our outdoor garden. I also made a little more de deco craft. We got some friends hiding out here, the pink flamingo and a little gnome, as well as our snowman. It's nighttime, let's take a nap. And then I could show you what our plans are for incorporating mystical agriculture into our material processing. You might notice I also have upgraded the furnaces that were over here. We now have a Supremium furnace, which is just a great thing to have. They're super fast. Like watch this, chuck some cobblestone in there and it goes zoom. It's nice, not that our electric setup for furnaces, like we have the furnaces from both Ender IO and thermal expansion, but sometimes you just need to throw a stack of stuff in a furnace like plastic. This furnace is made from one of the essences in the mystical agriculture mod. So if we go take a look, the Supremium furnace requires a Superium furnace, which requires an Intermedium furnace, which requires a Prudentium furnace, which requires an Inferium furnace, which requires a regular furnace surrounded by Inferium and a block of Inferium. So nested recipe. That's what we're talking about when we talk about mystical agriculture. All of these essences are different tiers and they are required to craft the different kinds of seeds that you can use to grow crops in mystical agriculture. So let's go take a look at our gardening building. Let me show you a little bit of what I've done in terms of automating the mystical agriculture process. You might notice that our farming building is now full of garden cloches. Woo, very exciting. I have taken these garden cloches. They are currently growing inferium seeds. I think I have both tier three and tier four. So these are the essences I'm talking about. Inferium, prudentium, intermedium, supremium, and uh, superium and supremium. The way this is set up, I have the garden cloches producing the inferium essence and they are being 
piped into one of our phantom faces from Actually Editions. Now remember, I did a phantom face for our energy production over at the mob farm where the energy cube at the mob farm is a phantom energy face and it pretends to be the energy battery we have in our main workshop. This thing is the same thing. This phantom face is pretending to be the drawer controller for our storage at the mob farm area. I told that phantom face to pretend to be this drawer controller right here. So our Inferium Essence is being piped into this. See, now we have 81.7K and you can see that it's slowly going up because those cloches are working to grow the Inferium. So for today's episode, we're gonna set up a collection system for the other essences that I am collecting for Mystical Agriculture. Oh. One more little bit of show and tell. Because of the mob farm, we get such cool armor. I thought it would be fun to put all the armor types in the game up here on armor stands, especially the weapons. Did you know you could put a weapon in an armor stand hand? Oh, that's so cool. So I think this is the emiratic armor. Uh, this is dark steel from Ender IO. Of course, the chain mail, etc., and the regular iron and stuff, as well as. A lot of the swords and shields. Shields come from dungeon tactics. I think the swords are mostly silenced gems. So let's head back over to our gardening building and then we'll talk a little bit about mystical agriculture. Behind me, you can see cloches producing things that do not look like the regular Inferium essence. In fact, what they're producing are essences from different materials in the game. Things like iron and tin and bronze and gold and diamonds. And if you produce things like diamond essence, you can see that nine diamond essence give you a diamond. I have solved our diamond problem by going to mystical agriculture. The crafting recipe for these essences are not terrible. So you take, um, in order to grow the diamond essence, you need a diamond seed. And to make a diamond seed, you need a tier five crafting seed, four supremium and four diamonds. To get a tier five crafting seed, you need a tier four crafting seed. To get a tier four, you need a tier three. To get a tier three, you need a tier two, etc. So on down to a base crafting seed. This is where the prosperity shards we've been collecting as we've been mining come in handy because you need them along with a regular Minecraft seed to make a base crafting seed. So all of these essences like water can be grown from a seed. So you make a water seed and what you get are water essences and you can use those essences to make things like clay when you combine them with dirt. So I have also solved our clay problem, which is why I could do more buildings. So I've just selected a handful of essences that we need right now. And we can always craft seeds for other things. So you can see in this chest, I have a little bit, I don't have water and dirt being actively collected. I just wanted to leave them here. We're collecting iron essence so we can make iron ingots, gold to make gold ingots, diamond essence, which is awesome. Let's do some of that, make diamonds. I also have been collecting uranium and draconium. Uranium is actually active right now. And I'll talk about the reason for that in just a second. So if we put all these in a crafting grid, look what we get, 35 diamonds. Isn't that awesome? Oh, it solves our diamond problem. So now when we look at our RS, look, I have 1.3K of diamonds, 150 diamond blocks. We're never gonna run out of diamonds again, which means I'm not dependent on our ore miner for basic materials, which is really good. Today, we are going, but right now I have everything going into this storage crate, right? That's not very automated, is it? I mean, it goes into a crate, but we are gonna set up an actual storage system for all these essences so that we can craft the essences either automated using the RS system when we need them. So if we need extra diamonds, the RS will just create them for us or uranium or other items like that. So I've just set up a simple drawer system with a drawer controller and we are gonna connect this to our existing RS using an external storage connector. This is just like we did for our storage area in the big building as well as the mob farm. And so I might not do that actually on screen, but I just wanted to show you that it was set up. And then we're gonna put the essences in here 
and then we'll cut a hole in the ceiling and let those essences be piped down into the storage system. Now let's run outside and let me talk to you a little bit about this extra building. So you might be wondering why I picked uranium as one of the things that we need to start collecting from mystical agriculture. The answer is we need better power. And we happen to have the extreme reactors mod in this mod pack. So we are gonna build an extreme reactor. Very exciting. In order to have a place to put it, I decided we needed a power building. So we're actually gonna move our main power collection, uh, both solar and our little things we got in loot bags to this building, as well as putting a reactor in it. I've just made it to match our other builds in our little base village here. So it's just brick and then I'm using the soapstone cobblestone just chiseled to look like bricks and cracked bricks because that's what the majority of our cobblestone look is. And the bricks I got because I started growing the mystical agriculture water and dirt to get clay. So now our RS has a pretty good supply of clay and bricks for making bricks. I don't know why that's the same name in Minecraft, but whatever. So we'll be right back. And we are back in our little underground room underneath our farming building. And I'll show you the changes I've made. So we have our wall of storage drawers with a drawer controller in the middle. And if we go around the back, you can see that I have used an external storage connector to the back of that drawer controller and refined storage cable all the way down the tunnel. So we're headed to our main storage building here. And this connects up. This was the nearest connection we can make to the refined storage system, which is actually the tunnel between our mob farm and the main storage area. So we kind of bisected this line. See, here's our main storage building up above us with all of our other storage items. And we just added to our tunnel system to connect the refined storage system to it. Now we're gonna take all of the essences that we've been collecting and put them in the storage drawer system so we can access them from our refined storage wireless crafting grid. But first we need to have the collection of all of these essences be put into the drawers. So first we're gonna set up our drawers to accommodate those new essences. And the way we're gonna do that is just put them in drawers. So there's dirt, there's water. And then here come all of the tiered essences for crafting. So the prudentium, the intermedium, the superium and the supremium. And then let's do our regular ores. There's iron, gold, diamonds. And then I'm gonna put uranium and draconium. Now the drawers are all locked. So when we grow something new, we'll have to start a drawer for it. We also want to put, go ahead and put upgrades in these. Probably the most important one are some void upgrades. We'll make a few of those. That's just an upgrade template with some obsidian. And then in order to store more things in the drawers, we're gonna use some emerald upgrades. And the way we apply these is just right clicking on the drawer and you can see when I right click it, here in fact, let me turn off that annoying thing. When you right click it, you can see the icon appears in the upper right corner of the drawer that lets you know that it has a void um, upgrade on it. And I'm actually just gonna use the rest of these because we'll need them eventually. And then for these, turn our UI back on. You'll notice that right now on the end of that list in the top center of my screen, this is the stack limit is 16. As soon as I add one emerald upgrade, our stack limit is 1024. So we're gonna put one emerald upgrade in all of these. And in fact, let's put 
three. Let's max them. We're going to max it out here in the one with all the prudentium and superium and all that. Dirt and water. Well, you can take these up to 2,000. Oh, and I still have a few left. So we can go ahead and use them. And that's it. That one can't accept any more upgrades. Okay, so we can put 61... 6,144 stacks of each of these essences in this storage drawer. So that's one void upgrade and a maxed out number of emerald upgrades. So that that's a lot. That should be plenty. Okay, now we want to hook up the actual production of these to that storage drawer system so we don't have to move them back and forth ourselves. So let me clear out my inventory just a little bit. Oh, well, we got here. Let me... I'm going to go ahead and move some of these by hand before I break this crate. And if you didn't know, you can, if you have stuff in your inventory that matches the drawer system you're looking at, you can just right click, double right click on the stored drawer controller and it pulls all the stuff out of your inventory. So you can put stuff in that inventory pretty easy. So I'm going to break the storage crate. There we go. And then grab some item ducks. And we're just going to. Oh, and I probably need to grab a crescent wrench. We don't want that going back in there. Turn off that connection. And we're just going to take the item ducks and run them right into the underside of the drawer controller. I've already, already built a little tunnel underneath. So we don't get as much dire wire as we could. So there's where the drawer controller is up there. And that right there. Da, da, da. Ta-da! And we can always upgrade those item ducks later to be faster. And you can see, there come the essences down through our item ducks and then into our storage drawer system. So I don't have to hand empty that chest or hand craft stuff anymore. Time for a quick tutorial interlude. I noticed in our RS system, that because I hadn't set the priority correctly on our new storage drawer system for essences, it was storing the essences on the disk drive instead of putting them in the storage drawers. So the way that you address that is twofold. One, you need to go to the connector for your storage drawer system. I'm gonna run down here. And there is a user interface. If you right click on that connector, you can see there's a priority. So we wanna make sure that this priority is higher than the priority for the regular disk. So I've set it to positive one. Then the next thing you do is you need to go build something, craft something called a disk manipulator. And it's specifically designed for exactly this scenario. It looks just like a disk drive. So there's our disk drive. This is a disk manipulator. And then you take the storage disk with all the items on it that aren't correctly stored in the right place and you put it in here. Now this automatically understands that there are items on the disk that have other places they can go instead. So if we go over to our storage drawer system, again and look at the essence numbers you can see that it's making the correction it's pulling these prudentium essences off of the disk and instead putting them in the priority storage drawer system so there's your refined storage tutorial interlude yay I think that is all the time that we have for today. So we are going to save working on our extreme reactor creation till the next episode. And in the meantime, if you liked the video, please leave a like. If you'd like to keep up with what's going on in the channel, don't hesitate to subscribe. And as always, remember that you are the shiny stuff that awesome is made of. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.